What's good everyone? I am back with another video. And yes, I'm going to try to make an RNG system in one hour. But wait, don't click off the video. Don't worry, I'm going to explain every step. So think of it as a challenge video and tutorial at the same time. So without further ado, let's dive into it. First insert a screen GUI inside of starter GUI and inside of the screen GUI insert a text label. Make sure to name it role so the script works for you. And inside of the text button, insert a module script and a local script. Now in the module script, I'm going to create a dictionary table that contains the rarities and their data. I created a table of rarities, and every rarity name have its own data. You can add as much rarities as you want. Just follow what I did and be careful with the comma. Now, in the local script, I'm going to require the table. And wait, if you don't understand what module scripts are, it's actually really simple. It's a script that doesn't work by himself, but you can save data and functions inside of it, and you can require it in any script and use it. It's useful for LuaUP, aka object-oriented programming. Now I will make a variable that contain the role button, which is the parent of the script. Rolling system is done. So I will quickly explain what I did. First, I created the variables. I needed one for the module script, the second for the role button, and the third for the local player. Then I edited the button properties so it looks better. And next, I made a debounce table so the player can't roll while the button is rolling. Then I called the event. So it fires when the player click the roll button and will do what I typed inside of the function. Inside of the function, first I checked if the debounce table doesn't contain the player. And if not, then I created a for loop that will make the rolling last five seconds and set the debounce table to true. Then I created an readable to make it easier for the program to choose a random rarity. And then I did a for loop that will loop inside of the rarity table and this loop give me an i in value which contains the name of the rarity and the v value that contains the value and then i insert the i and v values inside of the array table i created after that i made a variable that will take the random rarity the program chose and if he did the roll button text will show the rarity name and the font style and color of the roll button text will be the same as that rarity and after that the debounce will set to false so the player can roll again and that's all for the roll system do you think that's all nope we still need a rolling sound and equip button and skip button let's first start with the rolling sound insert sound inside of the roll button then choose any sound from the toolbox and copy the id of it then go to your sound and paste the id but you still need to code it so the sound plays when the button is rolling and it's simple first create a variable that contains that sound and then play that sound while rolling which is inside of the first loop
Now it's time to script the equip button and skip button. But before we start, I want to take three seconds of your time to smash that subscribe button. It really means a lot for me. later it really took me a lot of time like for the role system i only like spent 10 minutes and now i spent 40 minutes suffering to find the solution and fix the bugs also it's my first time scripting in our ng this is why it took me long anyway here is the result So what I did is, I created two variables one for the skip and the other for the equip, and left them nil, and when the rolling ends they took an instance value of a text button and I adjust the properties off course, and connected every one with an event. So when the skip button clicked, it destroys the current rarity gi, and the skip button and the equip button, and you can roll again, and if equip button clicked then, the current gui variable will set to in billboardry, instance be on the head of the player. If you didn't understand anything, don't worry here is the full script copy it, and don't forgot to copy the module script, and to name everything like I did so the script works. Alright, that's all for today's video, hopes you enjoyed it. If this video reaches 60 likes, then I will make a tutorial series on how to script on Roblox. Stay safe, everyone.